This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication. The Boeing 737NG is one of the most advanced aircraft in the world and the bustling millions of air travelers today have come to expect its reliability and timeliness. Even the most dependable of aircraft require maintenance action from time to time, however. So when they do break, the delivery of fast and lasting fixes is essential to traveler and aircraft operator alike. When misdiagnoses of aircraft system faults do occur, they are often costly. They may result in departure delays or worse still, flight cancellations. Some of these difficulties may never be duplicated in shop testing. This frustrating repair cycle outcome leads to increased operational and direct maintenance cost for both equipment and aircraft. No matter how you look at it, failed troubleshooting will eventually find its way to the pocketbook of the consumer, and that's a no-go situation. Honeywell and its customers work together closely to resolve these kinds of issues. This video will focus on the Boeing 737-MG Display Electronics Unit, a multi-system component that has proven to be particularly difficult to properly troubleshoot when faults are reported. With assistance from Honeywell, the Boeing company has published a pocket guide that was developed to aid technicians in correctly isolating the cause of such DEU faults. We will examine this document and how to successfully use it in maintenance repair activities. The DEU is a complex LRU. It supplies computing resources, input-output data routing and control, and graphics data for presentation on the aircraft cockpit displays. For example, operators may misinterpret the interactive performance of multiple inputs and outputs reversion mode switching, and the association of the correct DEU and display. In some cases, a display source message may be reported in flight, a condition that reverts to a cockpit display system or CDS maintenance fault on the ground. If a CDS fault message is enunciated on the ground, it may be associated with an APU start sequence. In some instances, the power draw on the battery during APU start may cause the DEU to go into a reset condition. If this occurs, follow the aircraft fault isolation manual procedures to correct the problem. To isolate which DEU is at fault, switch display source from auto to all on one or all on two. Leave switch in the position where all displays are blank. While the displays are blanked, verify the CDS byte pages can be accessed. If the byte is accessible from the MCDU, Select current status to review faults. Record any present faults. Perform ground test and verify if the fault condition was cleared. If the fault is cleared, there is no reason to replace the DEU. We recommend performing a byte download to simplify any future investigation. If the CDS byte cannot be accessed, the faulted DEU primary circuit breaker should be disengaged. Do not pull the holdup circuit breaker. Wait no less than two seconds before re-engaging the primary circuit breaker. If the fault is cleared, there is no reason to replace the DEU. Once again, we recommend performing a byte download to simplify any future investigation. As you can see, troubleshooting DEU discrepancies could be somewhat challenging at times. 
but with preparation and the use of these tools, you can easily reduce your operational delays, cancellations, and maintenance costs. This video is for training purposes only and should not be used as a replacement for any technical publication. Thank you.